Hi, this is Brad Pilon for The Truth About Protein, and today a quick video on protein and insulin. Now, most people know that carbohydrates, specifically the simple carbs like glucose, can spike your insulin levels. What a lot of people don't seem to realize is that protein can do very similar. Uh, protein in combination with carbs can cause an increased spike in insulin, and protein on its own can actually spike insulin. In fact, 35 grams of casein, actually a micellar casein, so a casein protein powder, can spike insulin to the point where you're moved out of sort of that fasted state. So if we consider 30 to 60 picomoles per liter insulin in your blood, as fasted state, yeah, a number you don't really need to know, just fasted state insulin, taking a protein shake of approximately 35 grams of protein can move you out of the fasted state. Your insulin levels will raise up to what we call postprandial, or the amount of insulin you expect to see after someone just ate. Interestingly, the, pro the insulin response to protein may be dependent on the source of protein. If you compare the insulin spike that comes from a protein shake compared to the insulin spike that comes from, let's say, um, 50 grams of protein from ground beef, you get a much different look. So the ground beef causes a lower insulin spike that's more prolonged, whereas the micellar casein, the protein drink, caused a quicker spike, quick as in like 15 minutes after you drank the protein, but then it comes down fairly quickly too. So you get very different responses from protein, but the key is that protein does boost insulin levels in your blood. And it seems to be dependent on the type of protein and possibly how quickly that protein enters your bloodstream. So I'm Brad Pilon for Truth About Protein, and that's just a quick video on the fact that protein can cause changes in your insulin levels.